Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to turn a plastic bottle into a switch you can use for your battery-powered electric devices. I first came up with this project many years ago and have been using it since, and the materials you need are actually quite simple and straightforward, and that's what I really love about it. The key materials you need are really a plastic bottle with a threaded cap and a couple different types of wire. And the wire is why you need to have some wire cutters and wire strippers. Also, something to make two small holes in the side of that cap. You can leave the bottle intact to make this project, but let's take it a step further and go ahead and cut the top off the bottle. That'll make it a little bit more compact and easy to use as we are working it into different kinds of projects that you'll see in the future. I simply clamped it lightly into my vise and grabbed a hacksaw and started cutting right down that inside edge. There's a perfect rim that makes it easy to cut along and gives you this nice clean finished look that you end up with, which is perfect for making the switch that we want. For the next step, you wanna go ahead and remove the cap off of this and then find the spot just around the last threaded ridge to make a couple of holes. You're gonna make them on the opposite sides of this plastic part of the top. The hole size doesn't have to be very precise, it just has to fit the wire through it. That's why you can even use a needle that you heat up just to melt a hole through the side. But once you're done, do double check to make sure that the cap will freely slide back on and off. Now you need some small gauge wire and you need to strip the ends off of each. I actually am going to go ahead and use braided wire here. It is harder to use for this, but it works fine as well. If you have solid core wire, you're going to find that it's much smoother of an operation once you complete your switch. Now what you want to do is bring the wire up and through the inside of the cap assembly itself and twist the wire down so that it's nice and compact and fit it through one of the holes. Once it's through to the other side, you're just going to pull it out, up, and over the top and then twist it down around itself underneath the inside of that cap area. This will keep the wire secure and hold it in place when you're using it for a switch. Now all you need to do is go ahead and repeat the process for the second wire on the other side of the cap as well. When you're done, you're going to notice that the wire does stick just a bit over the top of the cap, which is exactly what you want, and you're going to see why that's important in just a minute or two. Now we're going to grab our thicker solid core copper wire and a piece of half inch PVC, and we're going to wrap it around here. That's how we're going to figure out how much of this wire we need. It's perfect because the half inch PVC is actually the uh, ideal size for the kind of cap that we're working with here on a 12 ounce bottle. Once you've cut your length of wire, go ahead and strip off all the outer coating. You want that completely clean and free, and then wrap it around the PVC again to give it a good round shape. You don't have to use the PVC for this process, it just helps to make it go a little bit quicker. Once you've got this shaped back into a circle, push it down inside your cap until it seats all the way against the bottom of that cap. You'll notice that once I had it in here, there's still a little bit of overlap of that copper wire, and that's okay. It'll work just fine that way, and I'm going to do that. However, if you go back and trim it down a little bit further, your on-off switch operation is going to be even smoother. But guess what? You're now ready to test it out as a switch. For our first test of our switch, we're going to wire it in with a couple of AAA batteries and some LEDs. I'm connecting the switch in line between the positive lead on the battery and the positive lead on the LED itself. Then we'll just take the negative lead coming off the battery and connect it directly to the negative lead on the LED. That way, when we twist our bottle cap, it turns on. You'll notice I use these little mini jumper wires with alligator clips on the end to make my connections, and this works great. However, if you don't have those, you can just take some wire, make your connections direct, and tape them in place, and that'll work just fine as well. So what I've done here is I've tested a few different LEDs using two batteries that give me a total of three volts. Then just twisting this back on and off, it works fine for turning the lights on and off. And this is great for many different projects. The reason this works is because the two wires that you put through the side of the cap actually leave a break in the circuit for the positive lead from the power source. Once you twist that cap down tight, the wire on the inside allows that connection to be completed. So we had a successful test with three volts. Let's step it up and try it out with a nine volt battery and see what we can accomplish. I've been working on creating a prototype of a turbine fan blade out of a soda can, and this looks like a perfect way to test out our new switch. So, do you like our new homemade switch? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback.
I do love to repurpose materials for my projects, and you'll notice that this particular DC motor actually came from a prior video in which I took apart an electric stapler to show you what was inside. The link for that video is in the description below if you want to watch. I would say that that was a successful test of up to 9 volts of power through our switch. Try it out and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.